Welcome back. Well, shifting focus to the commodity markets, Manisha Gupta is joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity that you're tracking today? Well, I'm Sonia, I'm looking at rubber and most of the industrial commodities, by the way, are doing quite well and rubber prices in the recent months have been climbing. Actually, 2023 wasn't such a great year for the prices, but 24 definitely has started on a very strong note. So we are trading at a two-year highs right now. The Indian prices have been on an upside as well. The consumption has been more than the production and that is the reason you are looking at support coming in. So we have seen prices gain up by 2% in last one week and it's up by 6.5% in the last one month as well. There are supply concerns coming in from the producing countries that have been weather concerns, pest concerns and is the reason that Thailand, Indonesia and Malaysia, this is where the maximum rubber comes in for from the global markets, are looking at lower quantity this time around in sense of production and exports as well. Also, one of the latest reports suggests that Vietnam natural rubber export volume has declined by 161% in the month of Feb and this is on a month-on-month -month basis that has been supportive also. The European Union deforestation regulations is something that the markets are reading upon. And then it is also about the weakness in US dollar index. That one is trading at around eight week lows. That has been supportive. We've seen better than trade data from China and that demand improving from the auto and tire manufacturing companies has been on the higher side. A report from S&P Global suggests that the global automotive demand in the month of Feb has gained up by 1.7% on an year-on-year -year basis. So rubber clearly seems to be taking all the cues from there. When you look at the international market, Markets then and we are looking at higher consumption patterns there too. When you look at the global rubber, well, the estimates for 2024 are that you could be looking at a production of around 15.05 million tons, while the consumption is anticipated at 15.52 million tons. Remember, rubber has been in deficit since 2021 and 24 doesn't seem to be turning anywhere different then. Look at the Indian markets as well and here as well, the dependence on imports has been increasing. This is the production trends where we have seen the production kind of continue to gain up for this year as well, 8.75 lakh tons of a production, but the consumption has been jumping by leaps and bounds and the markets do uh, suggest that you could be looking at high rubber prices from here as well. A very conservative estimate of around 8 to 10 percent of an increase in prices is what the industry is working with. All right, let's uh, take a quick break on that note. Thanks a lot, Manisha, for that. Up